hopefully you've already had some birdhouses up for maybe a month or so now. Some birds are already building nests, so we're well into the season. Bluebirds will build nests and raise young or attempt to two, three, in some cases four times during the breeding season, which is underway now. Uh, birdhouses, we hear the term all the time, birdhouses, and we don't think about what we're saying. Uh, they're not really houses in the strictest sense, they're nesting boxes. Birds don't live in them as we do in a house. They're, they're simply there to uh, provide a place to raise young. Only certain birds use birdhouses, uh, and it's those who take advantage of natural cavities and secure places to raise their young. A lot of birds build nests out on tree limbs and things. Uh, robins uh, put a little mud in a little pine straw, build a nice nest out in the open. Bluebirds, chickadees, titmice, and a lot of these birds, and of course woodpeckers, are primary cavity nesters. They drill their own holes. Coming behind that, bluebirds and some of these other, other guys will use those cavities for their own nesting purposes, or just a nook and cranny somewhere. We found out, or humans found out a long time ago, that if you put up a box with a little Very, hole in it, yeah. they will use it. Yeah. Bluebirds were on the verge of going extinct, not that close, but they were certainly endangered 60 or 70 years ago. They've come back. A lot of people started putting out birdhouses to give them a chance f f to have place to raise young. It's been successful. There's a lot of bluebirds out there now, and they're very used to going to nest boxes. Uh, here we already see just, just a typical bluebird nesting box. The hole in that box is one and a half inches, and don't get too carried away with what size the hole is. It's like, but they, somebody came up a long time ago and says, all right, for the eastern bluebird, one and a half inches is what they have to have. Western bluebird is slightly different from that, by the way. And for, then you see other things with smaller holes, oh, that's for chickadees and titmice. And then a lot of people just say chickadees or possibly wrens. It's much smaller. The thing is that the smaller birds will take a bluebird box. It's fine with them. S humans make up things sometimes. And uh, <laughs> they say, well, the, the chickadee has to have this size hole or, or the bluebird has to have that size hole. And the only way it really makes sense like that is a bluebird can't get into a chickadee size hole. It's too small for them. So in that regard, the hole size has a purpose, but it stops a bluebird from using the box. And if the bluebird comes along and wants a box, it can't get into a chickadee box. A chickadee can get in a bluebird box. And I found a long time ago when I did things like that, I'd put, oh, here's a chickadee box with a hole this big, and here's a bluebird box with a hole that big, and the chickadee took the bluebird box. Yeah. Put the nest in and says, you're not coming in, bluebird. The bluebird's out of luck. Yeah. So I just simply use bluebird size yeah. hole houses. Everybody's got a shot at it, and I put up more than one. You can do it the other way, and that's okay, too. You, you'll get a chickadee or something small in the ones with a small hole, and you'll get a chickadee or something small and bluebirds in the one with a large hole. Put the boxes around your house. Don't have just one. When you went shopping for a house, you didn't go to one, say, that's it. No, you looked around till you found the one just right. Right location, the right look, the right neighborhood. These birds do about the same thing. You can see them. You'll see yeah. them looking at one house and yeah. then looking at another. It is so fascinating. I love it. And I've never figured out exactly what makes sense to that particular bird. It may never. But everybody says, here's a bluebird house. Like I said, the one and a half inch hole, it's got to be this shape. And a lot of people take it and stick it on a tree. The best way for a bluebird house, the best type of bluebird house, is one like we were showing that's got a, roughly a four and a half, five inch square floor. It's uh, eight or nine inches up to the hole. It's got some ventilation on the side at the top and maybe some holes in the bottom to let air flow through it. Mm -hmm. And it's got a way to open it up for easy cleaning. Yeah. Uh, that's a basic box for chickadees, nuthatches, uh, the titmice, of course, uh, strong cavity nesters, and the bluebirds, depending on the hole size.